Hi, uh, this is a simple video about uh, rain effects. Um, there are many ways to create this with particles, with uh, some uh, meshes, uh, maybe with post process uh, on your camera. Uh, if your vault are opened and your player are always uh, outdoor, uh, you can simply um, attach some emitter uh, and uh, to your player and um, you will get something like this <sighs> some rain uh, as you can see uh, there are a small number of particles are in uh, camera frustrum uh, so to get uh, more particles in render maybe you need to offset it from camera touch it to camera and set up it to rotate with camera um, uh, also if you use some indoors uh, in your level uh, maybe uh, you will use some triggers or special volumes to disable to disable this uh, particle. Um, also, you can use many many emitters placed on your level in outdoor. Um, as you can see this emitter a cylinder with 1024 radius and these emitters are cubes with initial location 512 and 1024 on each and uh, there are many of them uh, it have uh, maximum distance uh, and if you player uh, walk through this it will enable or disable these emitters and the same thing with static meshes uh, this mesh is uh, grabbed from uh, gears of war it's simple planes many planes and simple material banner texture something like this It's elite funk model. It uh, use specular. Uh, maybe it will use specular power, normal, anything you want. Uh, the difference is uh, particles usually unlit and uh, particles uh, limited uh, it have some limited count 500 usually uh, so your rain will be uh, very very small very and uh, static meshes can be more weighted can use more weighted material more stormy more rainy uh, it's monetizable as you can see uh, particles uh, can you 
use uh, random directions uh, with static meshes this static meshes rain always are down directed directed to down and uh, to uh, for these static meshes you can break white maps uh, particles and lead but static meshes can use white maps and you can see this uh, volumetric shadows on this rain and it will always use uh, your light source brightness and uh, color for particles you need to adjust special materials with some simulation of lightning um, maybe static meshes more useful <laughs> in this case uh, and not so limited in uh, count of your drops but uh, particles also can use terrible collision and drops as you can see with generators mm. and that's all thank you